Hawk fans, it's our annual edition of Meet the Newcomers here on SJUHawks.com, St. Joseph's All Access. Matt Martucci with, honestly, uh, if you've followed St. Joseph's basketball for a long time, uh, a young man that needs no introduction, but we'll give him one anyway, Ryan Daly. You know, normally I would uh, introduce these guys and, you know, go through a, a whole little spiel, but you've been around this program a, a long time. Um, how much did that kind of factor into the decision of, of transferring and, and coming over here? Yeah, when I was deciding where I wanted to go, um, I was so familiar with St. Joe's. I've known Coach Martelli. Coach Arnold is like one of my mom's best friends. And it's just a sense of familiarity. Um, I live about a, two miles down the road in Havertown. So it's just been, I didn't want to restart with a whole new coaching staff and not really have any familiarity. So St. Joe's was a good fit for me. What's your earliest memory? of the program when, when you think about it. You talked about, uh, about obviously knowing Phil, but you know, and your dad playing here. Yeah. How far does, does this go back? Uh, I remember the 3 4 season pretty vividly. I mean, I was crying. My mom and dad were at the game, actually. Me and my brother found out we lost. We were crying. Uh, I was also here for the Gonzaga game. I can't remember the year, but I remember Gonzaga came here. I think Austin Day was on Gonzaga, and yeah, he, he ended he up. Pretty yeah, good. yeah, I remember that game. I think St. Joe's won. So, yeah, I, I've. A lot of early memories, Pat Carroll, Chet Sakaitis, Ahmad Nivens, all those guys, Pat Kalathis. Dad obviously playing here, late 80s, early 90s. What was uh, the, some of the things that, that maybe Dad taught you when it, when it came to the game growing up? Yeah, he taught me a lot. You know, uh, One of the things that I pride myself on is being tougher and trying to work, play harder than a lot of kids that I play against. And I think my dad kind of ingrained me that ingrained that in me from the start because you, just, you can't control if you're going to make shots, he would always say, but you can always control your effort. So every loose ball, every offensive rebound, uh, I, I guarantee that I'm going to try to go for them because I have to. So in my mind, I have to because my dad told me that, so for sure. One of the things that you can't control, obviously with being a transfer, the fact that you do have to sit out, that you have to sit this year, how do you kind of mentally prepare for that? How do you approach that in a year where you know you're, you know, you're just watching, you're working and, and helping the guys in practice for the most part? Yeah, you know, it'll be different for me. Uh, as I was saying earlier, I've never sustained a career uh, season ending injury. So I'm going to have to observe the game from a sideline perspective for a whole year. But I think during this year, I'm going to give the, the starters and the rotation players a good look in practice every day because I'm going to try to destroy them like the other team would, honestly. So. And they wouldn't expect nothing, anything less from me, so I'm going to keep putting the pressure on them. So hopefully, when I'm eligible, I'll be I won't miss a beat. You've had a few months now with this group. How close is this group? Very close, actually. Um, I love the team atmosphere here. There are a lot of older guys, and Jared's new, I'm new, uh, Troy's new. So they've really embraced us three. And um, living with Tolliver, Charlie, Lorenzo has been great. So I think we're all very close. Communications major. Uh, what do you want to do after school if it's not it's not necessarily basketball? Yeah, you know what? I haven't really thought into particular. I know I want to work in sports in some way because that's all I really grew up on, knowing sports and being around sports with my dad and my mom. So maybe uh, college coach. If not, maybe work for a front office of the NBA. So that'd be ideal. Favorite thing to do outside of basketball when you're not you're not playing hoops? Watch football highlights. Everything football. My, Football might be my favorite sport. I just happen to be basketball. So everything football, flag, fo I'll play flag football. I'll play two in touch with my brother. We, we play football all the time. How many wins for the Eagles? No, oh, I think they get 10. You know, they don't have an easy schedule. I think they get 10. I think they'll lose a few division games and then the Rams, the Saints. You heard it here first, 10 wins for the Eagles. And they'll probably win the NFC East with 10 wins, at, yeah. at least you would think. I better. Ryan Daly, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, I appreciate it.